So today I wanted to talk about the unveiling of the Gamma Vehicle at Fully Charged Live. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is that they did finally reveal that this ring around the screen is going to be the HVAC system. And they also mentioned that you will be able to control the air that comes up from it, down from it, left from it, and right from it. So I'm not sure if that means that there will be four different vents behind here, or if they just mean that you'll be able to control the direction that the air flows through one vent. They also did mention that you will also have supplemental side vents, though those were not on the vehicle today. The vehicle today did have a windshield wiper. Also, they talked a lot about the center LED lights, and it seems that the center LED location ended up being the simplest and most cost-efficient option for the front lights. They had to be able to illuminate within 18 inches of the center line, and so they felt that this was the best way to be able to do that. And they do provide a 150-degree field of illumination. And this was to comply with federal motorcycle requirements. They also showed that you could knock to open the trunk. And this knob here is a single LED, which they had to put on there in order to eliminate the license plate. And that was to meet regulations as well. On the vehicle today, the camera seemed to be a little bit lower than this, but I'm not exactly sure if it was or not. Also, they're still not sure about the uh, charging port that they're going to use. Today, the vehicle did not have a steering arm cover. The 3D printer had broken pretty recently, and so they were not able to show that, but they did say that they moved the steering arm up a little bit, and that was to improve aerodynamics. They also mentioned that they're still planning to allow you to change the external color of the vehicle pretty often, suggesting that there still may be a wrap on the vehicle. They also commented on the frustration with having to have these side view mirrors, which it sounds like will decrease the aerodynamics a little bit, but they are working with federal regulations to try to overcome that requirement and hopefully not need to have those in the future. But for now, they will be there and they will likely slow down the aerodynamics a bit.